All right, guys, welcome back to Frugal Homestead. So today we're out in the comfrey patch here. Now, I want to start off this video because a lot of people get confused right off the bat and think comfrey is a bad thing. Standard comfrey that is not a sterile variety will spread like wildfire. If you talk to any farmer about comfrey, they'll tell you it's the worst thing in the world because once it's in, it's almost impossible to eradicate. Um, this is a Russian variety called Bocking 14. Now, I personally got mine off eBay from a seller here in the same state as me, which is Ohio. We put them in late, late last fall and basically left them alone until now. I just wanted them to get established and take off, which they did wonderfully. Now you look at one is missing right here. That is because something came in and ate it. I'm guessing a deer but the rest of them have done really well. We also let them flower this year just for the bees and the insects and stuff. Now, this patch, being a sterile variety, we don't have to worry about it spreading, all right? We have to manually split the root balls, etc., cuttings, in order to be able to propagate more plants. So I don't have to worry about this stuff growing outside of its area. By the way, the girls are also cranky today, so you're going to hear them throughout the video. I apologize about that. Now, this is a perennial, which means I can keep cutting it and it'll come back every year. Generally, I get three to four cuttings off these a year. is going to be about the maximum I can pull while still getting enough volume to do anything with. Now, one thing you'll see in a lot of these videos about comfrey is how it's useful in the garden. But it's good to know that at some points there's some usage for this in the medical field. I'm not going to go into that, but as far as the ability to use it to make topical stuff um, for things like swollen ankles, etc., this has multiple medical uses. So it's more than just a good thing for animals and a good thing for your garden. And you need to know that, that it has other uses. That said, really you can use this as a low cost fodder for your animals. Um, the deer have been up here picking at this a little bit, but be it chickens, be it anything, they all pretty much will eat this. And it's just a simple way with as fast as it grows to be able to come out and hack off a few leaves and feed it to your animals in fair portions. It also is an amazing compost activator. Now this plant, just to understand how it works, We'll send down a tap root two to three feet, I think this variety does, and starts pulling up nutrients from the deep earth. By doing that, you can also put it in a patch and let it start working its way down and tearing up very, very hard clay. It'll go down and get the nutrients from down low while that tap root goes down and just starts working the soil and loosening it up. When pulling that up though, if you take this and cut it up and throw it into a compost pile, it will help the compost pile start to heat up, especially if you're heavy in browns because this works like a green and basically just gets your pile warmed up. Now, the usage of this for us is gonna be simple. It's gonna be twofold. It's gonna be a chop drop because these leaves have very little fiber in them. So when you cut them up and throw them down, they break down very quickly. It also works for a good ground cover on the chop drop style. So I could actually throw the whole leaf down and let it break down like this. But generally I like to cut it up a little bit and just toss it down directly on the area where my plants are to allow that area to soak up all the nutrients that have been pulled up from that tap root. That said, if you chop this up and throw it in water and let it steep, you can make a compost tea or a comfrey tea that has amazing properties and actually gets down into our back to Eden style of gardening a lot better than the chop drop method does in my opinion. Now I'll be doing a video to explain how to do that later, but I want to start out just today by kind of giving you an idea how our chop drop and how we use it. Like I said, there's medical properties that you can use this for, there's animal feed, there's a lot of uses, but I would encourage you twofold. One, if you're going to go start growing comfrey, that you buy from a local seller if possible. It's already acclimated to your environment that way, 
like I bought mine from another seller just north of me here in Ohio to plant in that way I knew that the plants didn't have to kind of acclimate and change up from a different environment and two I would tell you make sure you're getting a sterile variety make sure you're not buying the wild variety that once it starts I mean regular comfrey guys I can't even explain this I have seen entire farmers fields taking over by it it can really be a problem if you're not getting a sterile variety and there is other sterile varieties this is just the one we chose that would work best for our needs so let me get you down here get you a little closer and I'll show you our low-cost way of our chop drop method alright guys so you can pull the leaves off and just walk around and actually chop or just drop them wherever you're wanting the nutrients to go but for me I'm kind of lazy so I'll pick off a handful of them and they have really nice gardening knives you can do this with but we're cheap here on the frugal homestead so I just take a pair of scissors and I just cut it off into a bucket because I'll be using some of this to make comfrey tea but yeah I just chop it up in pieces grab a few more leaves and I just cut it up into pieces nothing special about how I do it don't get fancy with it don't overthink it it's a very versatile plant that you don't have to work hard to use so that's what you end up with is just a cut up section of comfrey leaves and now I'm going to go show you how we apply it to our plants so we're back here by our blackberry plants back here behind the backyard now these things are in a raised bed and they don't have the real opportunity for us to top dress too much with compost because the beds already full we do plan on putting another layer on so we can top dress a little bit but we really want to put fertilizer in without buying fertilizer that's where this comfrey comes in so super simple get your handful top dress around the base of the plant and basically it's chop and drop you throw it down you let it break down the fiber in the plant is extremely low so these leaves will break down extremely fast releasing all the nutrients that that tap root that's almost two to three feet down in the ground have pulled up from the low earth so by doing this we're not having to top dress and add more volume to the bed and have to keep building the bed up and bury the plant more and stress the plant this allows it to break down drop down into the mulch and through and into the actual plant now like I said the liquid version of this with the back to Eden method seems to work better because it can get down through faster and break down faster that said even after we put this through the liquid version I still take the leaf pulp that's left over after making the tea and add it to our compost pile to give that a little charge too so nothing goes to waste in this process no matter which way I process it So now you've got to see our comfrey patch and how we utilize it here on the property. This is just the tip of the iceberg and we will be doing some videos upcoming up on the tea and making comfrey in other ways like a slurry that we're still working on and testing to see if it's worthwhile. But we also will talk to you about splitting up the root balls and do root to propagate so be looking for those videos upcoming in the future we appreciate you guys coming along with us here on the frugal homestead we don't actually always do things the way everybody else does but we do things the way that work for us so 
If you haven't already, go hit the subscribe button, join the family, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, and we will see you in the next one.